Nippon Denso 150 amp alternator. Um, symptoms uh, every imaginable uh, warning light on the dashboard illuminated, uh, loss of power steering, uh, ABS unavailable uh, on the driver information panel, um, battery lights, warning lights, engine management lights, everything was uh, the whole gambit. Everything was illuminated. Um, turns out no charge uh, coming from the alternator. Um, so what we've got to to do is to change the uh, rectifier and to change the voltage regulator. So we've got two new components: new uh, rectifier and a new voltage regulator. <coughs> so to get to this point, obviously you remove it from the car uh, and remove this black cap, three nuts, and the shroud that covers the uh, the B plus. Um, the securing bolts for the rectifier around the outer edge, uh, so up there and over there. And then the securing bolts for the uh, brush assembly here and here. This one being the the ground, and this one being the uh, variable up to up to uh, battery voltage. Um, and then we've got the grounding points for the regulator and the connection point where it links in via the first diode. You can see on this. Rectifier pack. Let me try and zoom in carefully. You can see that the, uh, the diodes are well and truly on the way. A few of them, anyway. Uh, particularly bad one on this side. If we can just get you, come on, for focus. For, 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 for focus. There we go. You see the diode ruptured around the base. Um, to remove the rectifier pack and get down close and have a look. Uh, the contact points here, six in total here. Again, here and here. You can see I've just literally uh, clipped the tops off with a uh, one mil cutting disc. Nice and careful, because um, that is that is kind of bonded, brazed or something, the copper. So there's there's two more on the other side, and here you can see just the remnants of the the grinding process. They need to come off to get rid of them. So um, now the brush pack's unbolted. We can lift that clear. And we can check the condition of the brushes inside. There looks to be plenty of meat left on those. And uh, we can check the rotor contact points uh, for wear. These are in really good condition. Really good. And uh, we can do some checks, some comparison checks on both the um, rectifier and the voltage regulator uh, and we'll record those just so that people can compare against their existing units and see how, um, how they fare. Now the voltage regulator is just held in place with this uh, wrap around pinched affair going on uh, which you can see a bit better on the new one to be frank this one uh, crimps over the top, I suppose, around the side, but same principle. So I think I might uh, drop a bit of solder on that once it's crimped too, to make a good contact. So, um, now this has all been cut clear, unbolted, then we can lift this, uh, this old rectifier clear of the unit. 
nice and easy and that reveals the six contact points from the windings inside the rectifier and now we can even uh, see quite clearly the side of the, the rotor now these stator windings um, they appear because there's only six uh, and it's a 12 diode rectifier pack we're working on the principle that uh, six diodes will work one half of the rectifier, uh, sorry, the alternator, and uh, the other six diodes will operate function for the, the second half of the alternator windings. So we'll do some checks on those, see how they pan out, see where we go. So, um, this checks between the Windings. We can see that those three are linked. And that none have any contact with the ground. We can see that this side is a separate entity altogether. And that these three are linked. And don't have any contact with ground. So my assumption is that this is uh, two delta wound sections coming into the uh, rectifier. Um, the variable voltage uh, governed by the engine management system varies the uh, voltage to the rotor which um, varies the amount of output from the alternator and it's a, a 150 amp alternator so quite a decent uh, decent output right we'll uh, leave that there and then we'll have a look at some comparisons between the, the rectifiers and the voltage regulator readings and see uh, what we do with those.